Hey there guys, it's Jill. I bought, bought a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. So, I'm going to try to get into it pretty quick. But I've got a lot of stuff over here to show you. Uh, first off, I guess, is the Sephora sale. I went and bought a little bit of too much stuff because it was on sale. And because there was a collection I was specifically interested in. So, I picked up some stuff from the Minnie Mouse collection. I picked up this luminizing blush and this red lipstick. So this is called Minnie's Perfect Red. It's in a nice metal bullet, bullet case, and it has her little lip head on it, and it says XOXO Mini on it, and it's really nice that I picked up two of them, just so I had a backup, and like, it wouldn't feel bad if I used it and ruined the embossing, and I'll feel more like I can use it and not feel guilty. And this one here is Mini's Inner Glow Luminizing Blush. So it is a coral blush highlighter. So it, it's very similar. It doesn't have a lot of pigment payoff as much as it does like a luminous glow. I haven't really used it much, but I'm excited to. I also got this Minnie Mouse mirror, which is a little travel mirror with a little mini hanging on it. And then when you, and I drop the pouch, when you open it, it looks like her ears and it's just uh, a single mirror and a double reflective mirror um, and it says XO Mini on it as well and it's really heavy. I also picked up, traded in some of my points for this tote bag and after the sale it finally became available this VIB Rouge only mirror which has her ears on it. I'm just trying to blind anyone. It is very heavy and I've already dropped it trying to film this. I think that'd be all I bought, but it wasn't. I also picked up the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. Last year during the sale, I picked up the spray and I like the spray. I don't think it's a great primer. I think it's a good like spray for your face. Um, like it's good at setting. Actually, I don't even think, I think it's good. I just don't think it's a great primer. I don't think it's enough for me, and it's probably because my skin is dry. So I picked this up because I've been having a lot of issues around my nose lately. It's looking dry. It's looking cakey. It's looking like the makeup isn't sticking to it. It looks like I've blown my nose. And same like between my brows. And I haven't been very happy, but since I started putting this on those areas specifically, and then, like, as my main focus, um... I've noticed a big improvement on my foundation and how it applies, so I'm very happy with it. I also picked up from Smashbox the Insta Matte Lipstick Transformer that will turn any lipstick matte. I haven't really used it yet. It, it just kind of looks like a clear gel and it apparently turns your lipstick matte and I think that's neat, so figured why not get it during the sale. I bought one more thing. I bought the Buxom suede seduction palette i can't find this on their canadian website but it is in stores because i saw it yesterday it is an all matte version of the buxom shadow custom shadows two of the shades are permanent the rest are not uh so there's three more brown toned and three more gray toned in it and they're just gorgeous uh i actually just did a review on these palettes because i have two other ones one i made and one that was also a little one done up um, on the blog so I'll put a link to that but I really really like it because I only wear matte during like weekdays I only wear matte to work so it's really nice to have some more options I bought this pre the sale the this Guerlain um, eyebrow kit and this is in Universal so try not to drop the little spoolie thing it's a it's got four shades, three for your brows, I guess one's a under highlighter. Uh, yeah, I haven't really had a chance to use it, but I'm always in the market for eyebrow products. I also picked up pre the sale, the Peaches palette. Everyone went nuts with the Too Faced Peaches palette, so there it is. I haven't used it yet, but I do have it. Also post the sale, I picked up some Urban Decay lipsticks because they were on clearance. I thought they were discontinuing the shades and like, I suspected that they were redoing all of the lipsticks, but I didn't know if the shades that they had were coming back. Turns out they were, but regardless, I picked up some shades out of paranoia and they weren't coming back. So I picked up Jilted and I picked up Naked, both of which I already had. I already had Naked in a mini. 
which is a really pretty pink nude, a pink tone undertone nude, and Jilted, which I already had in a full, which is a really pretty like fuchsia, and I really love the name in particular. It spoke to me for some reason. So I've been using it for about a year. I got it last year during the sale. So to get one half off, even if they're reformulating it, I don't mind. I really love this shade. It is so pretty. Um, yeah, so that's what I got at Sephora. Moving on, I went to MAC and I got picked up some stuff from the Chris Chang collection, which has extremely gorgeous packaging, but the products themselves are pretty nice. I picked up this, which is just the Prep and Prime in white, but it's in a nicer package. So it's just white, but it's in the special package. So um, I might be swapping what's inside for something else so that I can take it around. I picked up all three of the cream color bases. This one's in Peony Pavilion, and it's a very like bright pink, I would say. I picked up this lavender shade, which is in Socket To You, which I was debating getting because I already had Madly Magenta, but I knew they were very different, as you can see. But I was also like, how many purple cream color bases do I need? But I picked it up. And then I picked up this coral, which is rich coral, which is very nice, orangey coral. And finally, I picked up this lipstick, and this is in the shade Plum Princess, and it's a matte, and it's kind of like a gray purple, and I really love the color. So um, I love the packaging, but I also like the products. I love cream color bases. I already have about eight of them. And the sad fact is, after last night, I went online and did a um, did a tribe order. So I'm going to get another one that's kind of a bronze cream color base, and it's slightly bigger, which I don't know why. And I'm going to get the highlighter and lipstick from it. Oh, and finally, I'm at, I picked up a heroin lip liner. I have it. I just don't know where it is, so I figured I may as well get another one. And I hope I find the other one so I can return. I went to this Canadian store called Sage or Sage. I, I feel like you should pronounce it Sage, but Sage, I guess. And I picked up this at your desk remedy bar. And it has three kind of aromatherapy, already diluted elixirs. One for stress relief, one for eaters digest, and one for quick study, it's called. And you're supposed to just keep them at your desk. And there's a roll on and there's a dropper so you can do what you need to do with it. I thought they were kind of neat. Namaste set, which has um, six, six milliliters in it. And they come in the sense exhale for cleansing, good karma for inspiring, spa spirit for purifying, unwind for harmonizing, well being, which is a balancing blend, and yoga, which is a grounding blend. So I just generally liked how this set smelled more than some of the other sets, and that's why I got it. I also had a gift card, so I had to use it. I had someone pick me up in the States the Peanut Butter Palette by Too Faced. Uh, this one I was more wanting to get than the Peaches. Maybe it's just because we couldn't get it here in Canada, or because it's really, really pretty. So I have that, and I haven't used it yet. Finally, I went to Superstore, which is now carrying Essence, and seems to carry a much larger selection than Shoppers. So I got this How To Brow, which has three eyebrow shades and like a highlighter shade and then tweezers and then a little spoolie, like a little uh, angled brush and a sponge brush, which I thought was pretty neat. I picked up this clear brow gel in a pencil. I picked up the Say No To Dark Circles pink kind of salmon-y concealer stick. because uh, I often have problems with that. And finally, I picked up the Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in bold Blondie Brows, which I thought I was getting a darker shade. I wasn't paying much attention, obviously. I'm going to have to give this to someone. I have the darker shade, and I really like it, and I want to keep one in my purse so that I have really quick touch-ups if I need to, or if I ran out of the house without thinking like I do many mornings, uh, I would at least have my eyebrows done. I was just thinking of starting carrying around a little mascara, eyebrow, and lip stick so that I, because I take an hour commute every morning, I wouldn't look like a zombie when I got to work. Um, but yes, I do have it in a darker shade and I liked it enough for $3.99 to buy another and I bought the wrong shade. So that's 
everything I've gotten recently. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think, if there's anything you have questions on or whatever, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.